Hello folks, this is Aditya Najha from InspireToRise.com and today we are going to talk about the Intel 7th generation core processors. So guys, last year the 6th generation core processors, the Skylake architecture was really popular. This was because of improved architectural designs. On the 14 nanometer design, we got really good performance. Battery life improved really drastically on Skylake as compared to the 5th generation. And this time around, on the 7th generation, we get more improvements in terms of battery life, in terms of video editing and video creation and video consumption and you get overall better response times on this one because of improvements in Intel speed shift technology and Intel Turbo Boost. In the 7th generation Intel devices we would get more than 100 plus designs which support Windows Hello authentication. We would get more than 120 plus designs which support the Thunderbolt input output format and more than 50 plus designs with native support for 4K UHD screens. The thinnest convertibles would be around 10 mm, the thinnest clamshell designs would be even less than 10 mm and the fanless detachable models would be even lesser than 7 mm in thickness. So the 7th generation processor would lead to really great designs. To differentiate between the previous generation processors and the latest 7th generation processors, Intel is also going to change their branding. The latest Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7 would have 7th gen also written with them on the stickers. So consumers won't have hard time trying to find out the latest Intel processor based devices. So numbers won't lie, last year on 4.5 watt power usage we got around 8x performance of what was a base performance model for the Intel Core processors and with the 7th gen this, that 8x would be around 10x. You get on the same 4.5 watt power consumption you are getting 10x the performance from previous base models so that's really great. Last year's ultra portable chip was the Intel Core i7-6500U, this time around we have the Intel Core i7 7500U which would be used on many ultra portables which would be used on many thin laptops net notebooks and two in ones and these are the kind of devices which are going to use the new 7th generation core the desktop offerings enterprise offerings all of these have not been announced yet they would be announced later on as Intel announces all of these products later on maybe like in the first quarter of 2017 that would be the time when all of those really anticipated products would arrive right now only the U and Y SKUs have been announced Intel has been calling the new architecture the 40 nanometer plus architecture because of the performance gains it has an improved fin profile which means improvement in overall manufacturing process improved transistor channel strain you get better design and manufacturing process and overall this would lead to a 12 percent process performance enhancement you get double digit gains this time around as compared to last time they haven't been really heavy changes the architecture is still 40 nanometer the design has not been shrunk to a really high extent with the next generation we expect intel to move further smaller from 40 nanometer design so what that means is that with every shrinkage of design with every subsequent following of moore's law what you get is a performance better power to performance ratio you are using less power you get more performance and less heat is being generated so this would lead to more fanless designs on all of the upcoming laptops you would get more thinner laptops more thinner two in ones and we are going to see some really good products in the year that is about to come if we just compare the Intel Core i7-6500U with the newer Intel Core i7-7500U the difference in clock speeds is amazing not that much amazing but still amazing because of the fact that it would be in a very small form factor so right now 3.1 gigahertz is the maximum that a core i7 6500 you can hit even my laptop itself on which i edit almost every video of mine hits the maximum of around 3.1 gigahertz but with the new intel core i7 7500 u that would reach up to 3.4 gigahertz with the intel speed shift technology also when you are doing bursty tasks but bursty tasks are those tasks wherein you uh, need limited performance and suddenly you need really heavy performance for example web browsing those are the tasks when you suddenly open a tab you need all of the resources then there also there is significant performance improvement in the newer 
seven generation core processors as compared to their previous counterparts. Intel guys have claimed that the newer core seven generation processors can convert a one hour 4K UHD video, transcode it in maybe like 12 minutes. That's serious performance gains. This is all because of the newer media engine chip which is on the Intel Core 7 generation processors. These include the capability to encode and decode HEVC 10 bit codec content and VP9 codec content. So VP9 is the codec which is being used by YouTube. So even if you are watching YouTube in 4K using the latest 7 generation core processors, the performance would be really great and battery life would be around 9 to 10 hours. These are all claims right now by Intel but when we get all of the devices running the 7 generation processors we will test all of them for sure. Right now the market for the ultra portables and the laptops and all of those devices which run these chips seems to be on a very upward growth and you would get thinner better fanless designs you would get more performance for the same price you would get better battery life for the same price and bursty performance also would be good even in heavy loads you are getting higher clock speeds than before so we can say that the seven generation is definitely an improvement over the sixth generation so guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel this is Aditya Najha from inspiretorize.com signing off folks Stains part to rise.